right here, what's going on? Draft inducer. <sighs> Another one. Pull that off. So I'll shut it off. All right, so let's go back and grab a draft inducer and clicker box, and we'll get this thing up and going. Gotta grab a draft inducer. My shop, my barn is a mess. Here's the trailer. I got some consignment furnaces over there. That's for another job. Uh, floor is not even done, but it, it's like a big giant shed. I, yeah, no place has a home and it drives me nuts. But I do have <clears throat> stock somewhere. <clears throat> this is it right here. Yep, this is it. This is um, source one. Let me see if I have a collector box. <clears throat> There's an 80 right there. So with these collector boxes, they, it was a cool idea on the JC I had um, with the clear collector boxes, but they leaked. So these are black now, and that's how they come from the factory, the black. Um, yeah, let's see, let me take it out and change it over. All right, so we got this, and we're heading back to the job. And just like that, we're back. So if you have no heat and this is hot or not spinning, this has to be replaced. This is a different style. This is actually keeps everything cooler. What do you want me to do with the um, pressure switches? Take them off. Okay, just take it off with yep. it. Take okay. them off. You gotta take the screwdriver, the Phillips, change that out and take these off. Somebody somebody did something they shouldn't have done and put those on there where they shouldn't have gone. That's why there's caulk in there. that up yeah i did okay oh it looks like somebody here you did that yeah displaced it <clears throat> okay. so is this thing this thing's not leaking this I mean it's not leaking yet feels nice so well we're not going to replace this it's not leaking out but it may in the future but um we'll cross that bridge over because <laughs> we're going to try to save the customer some money by not replacing that because it is not leaking but see how it's pretty cool you can see what's going on in there um 
kind of gunky at the bottom. Oh, it is cracked right there. So, yeah, I think we better replace it because it is cracked. So, here's the new collector box. Okay, so, I'm going to take this off. And... Said it was a pretty cool design, but um, they could have made it a little bit better. Now, I don't know if it was the material that they used or the, the glue process, but after a while they start leaking. Like, so this is cracked right there. There's a size crack on it. But yeah, I thought it was pretty cool when I first seen these furnaces. You can see what's going on in the collector box, and I said, man, that's cool, but. After a while, they end up having a recall on them, and so basically, you just kind of take it and tilt it up so we get all the water out. So you're trying to drain it into the drain. Yep, yeah, you're just trying to drain it into the drain so you don't make a huge mess. secondary out as well because I do see a little bit of rust right there. It's not bad though. Mm -hmm. These all gotta be <clears throat> these here all have to be turned down that way it drains properly. don't 90% do okay. high efficiency has got some kind of collector box somehow some shape or form okay yeah 80 percent 80 percenters that are non-condensables they do not have a collector box all right They have collector boxes to collect all the water right, instead of they're, the Right, they're everything. condensing furnaces, so the this is where the so the secondary. So you got your primary heat exchanger, which is your main primary, mm -hmm. and then as it, the gases are burning through, you got your secondary. This is where it reproduces everything, and then it gets, it, moisture. It gets moisture and pulls the moisture out of the gas, and this is what gives you the high efficiency. Okay. So, all right. All right, so just put everything back. I'll let you put the draft inducer back on and All right. goes in there. But while this is off, let's pull the igniter or the flame sensor out and we'll yeah, good idea. test that or clean it. rectifies the flame so if you're if you're having issues heating your house where your burners come on for maybe five to ten seconds and sh shut back off and then it keeps doing it take that flame sensor out and clean it oh, a little dirty so you can take a piece of uh, um, steel wool steel wool Scrub it up and down, or take. A, we used to use this. Do not use this. This is too abrasive. 
Um, you, you can use a dollar bill, five dollar bill. Um, clean that up really good and you'll be good to go. But I always try to do this on the job because we're here, take care of it while you're here, and then maybe we'll have any issues later. JCI furnaces, these are always a great time getting to the, the flame sensor, aren't they, Tyler? Yeah. box <coughs> comes with these orifices as you can see that is your orifice size there and there's specific orifice sizes for different type of applications so on this one we don't need these at all because this is already the size we need See where they go on these? They go right there. Right, right here. No. You see the right there? Yeah. Okay. See, this one didn't have that. It's this one they put it in where the uh, the limit switch on. This isn't just the way to do some more. I think this is for like an ACP. Use it to tie that up there. I need the drop and just kind of zip tie that up there so it keeps away from that draft inducer. Pop this bottom door off and look at the secondary heat exchanger. See if you see any signs of leakage. Uh, so let me pull this thing out and uh, see if there's any rust coming down. What about these? Nope. Typically they leak like right up there, drip down. This one looks good. Surprisingly, usually you see some rust spots yeah, down there. The little street. No, it's usually in the back. Okay. No, usually in the back. And these JCIs, Yorks, Luxairs, Coleman's. You want to take this bracket, loosen this bracket up a little bit. This is what holds this track up. On both sides, just take that screw and loosen it up, and it makes things a lot easier trying to get this in in place. things a little bit easier messing with these blowers. All 
um, let's check the igniter while we're here too. Let me see. Not too close. Oh, 104. Yeah, we're we're bad. So I will go let her know. Oh yeah. So as you can see, it's it's really white. It's just a matter of time before this thing will go. And that's what they should look like. But whatever you do, do not touch these. These are porcelain and you'll crack them with the oil on your hands. So Tyler's gonna carefully put that back in without breaking it. You. I know. I'm not done yet, but I'm not gonna jinx you. Last thing I want to do. <laughs> Here we go. This is why we test. Uh, you know, and I'm, I'm. Uh, we're gonna test this one. This should should be around 75 ohms. It. I don't think I broke it. I haven't touched it. Let me get in there and look real quick. There is my other light. Huh. Interesting. Strange. Okay. Let's plug it in and see if it works. Uh, it should work, but I'm just wanna see what it looks like. Yeah, I'm just no. All right. That's just strange. If anyone knows why it wasn't reading ohms, leave it in the comment section below. I'm curious. It had me stumped.
some reason it's not kicking on the gas at all. So isn't this the crap? So we go through the entire system. This was the original cause. We tested the igniter because it wasn't bad, but it was going bad. We went to fire it up and then the valve's bad. I'm getting 26 volts. I put the new valve on just to test it and this clicked. Um, so yeah, I, yeah, I guess that's just where the cookie crumbles. So we're going to replace this valve and we'll be back. replaced all these parts and then the gas fell puked um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm just gonna eat the gas valve because she's she spent quite a bit of money rebuilding what was here so uh, it is what it is so This igniter was not reading any ohms. Late night service call. So the igniter was bad, so we gotta replace the igniter again. Alright. So This one wasn't reading nothing because it must have had a hairline crack in it. This one should read in the 70s. And 68. 68.8. So that's the reason why it wasn't reading. I did and you got any value out of this content? Smash that thumbs up button and 